Good evening once again. I'm Keith Ranford. There is a cause for concern all over the country tonight, and the COVID numbers are spiking here in Erie County as well. Niagara County is reporting 90 new positive cases since Tuesday morning. There are currently 420 active cases there, and as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps shows us tonight, there is also a concern now when it comes to testing in Niagara County. Well, that concerns me. It absolutely concerns me. Concern over 420 cases, most of them new since last Friday. Niagara County is seeing a significant uptick in COVID-19 cases. This weekend is twice as much as the, the second highest weekend we've ever had. Although cases have spiked, hospitalizations haven't. And I think the main reason behind that is because the average age of the people who are positive has gone down over the past few weeks. Public Health Director Dan Stapleton says Halloween parties are a big contributor to the problem. Cases are also steadily increasing at Niagara University and Niagara County Community College. The uh, most important thing is for us to continue and, and increase our vigilance. Cases are widespread across the county. Throughout the pandemic, Niagara Falls, North Tonawanda, and Wheatfield have seen the most cases. The main issue for Stapleton is the lack of testing capabilities. He says he's ordered more than 20,000 rapid tests testing kits and requested 10 machines, but has only seen about 10% of those kits and two machines from the state. And if I don't get that, then my ability to do effective uh, testing and surveillance will be definitely impacted. While a sizable chunk of neighboring Erie County is in the yellow zone, Stapleton says Niagara County may not be too far behind. We're prepared to uh, activate our plan, but if we can't get the things that we need from uh, the state, then a plan is only good if you have the resources to actually uh, uh, enact it. A spokesperson for the state health department responded in a statement saying they have been sending equipment to Niagara County. It reads in part, thousands of test kits have been sent to Western New York, including 1,000 specifically for Niagara County, as well as two additional testing machines. This brings the total for Niagara County to more than 7,000 tests and seven testing machines in the past few months. And because Erie County is now in the yellow zone, the state says it will send more testing resources around Western New York this week. In Niagara Falls, Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News.